ones that maybe don't go our way, it's a great question mark because that's you know what at, for Nick at, his, at this point in his career, that's what I'm looking for to go along with the expectation that he's going to run the show and be a field general out there for us like he always is. Uh, so I was happy with Nick's performance on the day. Really, a lot of, a lot of different guys mixed into that huddle that maybe don't got, get a lot of reps a lot of times, but a lot of guys down today. Um, so really good, really good to see Nick go do that. Uh, Andy, you were starting in the second. Yep. I just, I just think these, <laughs> these reps are so vital. Um, and like I tell you guys all the time, we've got an individual plan uh, for every player on our team, what we think based upon reps, what we think based upon getting them game ready. Um, so I wanted to see Ed go out there. Thought he did some really good things in the run game. Um, pass pro for the most part was pretty good. We got beat on one TE, kind of stunt there on the third down. But uh, those are great, great reps for Ed to go out there. He's a captain today. Um, and and uh, like like Ed being ready to go today, even coming off of quite a few reps in the joint practice setting. So would you have done it if Dalton was healthy? Or? Would have loved to see Dalton get some snaps today, and, and yes, I would have had Ed play regardless. You mentioned uh, Minty, um, McGlover, and you only had to pick Thursday. Yep. Another one today. What yeah, you know? no, I would have absolutely mentioned him if he didn't get hawked down there <laughs> um, on the return. But no, I, I mean, that's no surprise to any of us when you saw the reaction from his teammates. Dwight's been basically, uh, you know, every other day or so, you feel like he's making a play, um, significant play like that. Um, just a really good example of the, the group of defense in there. They put together a little drive and, uh, you know, make him snap a little more time down in the red zone and tips and overthrows and, and, the, and the ability to really flip the entire field two plays later. Uh, Jaron saw him touchdown to Malik Knowles, who was great to have out there as well. So Wes called, West called the offense and Durante and Mike shared the defense. Yep. I thought they did great. I mean, Wes had a great flow, um, really did a great job preparing uh, the guys that were going to play, clear playing, uh, got, you know, very, very, uh, you know, unfortunately, I think a lot of our penalties came in the, in the special teams phase today, um, but it felt clean. The operation, uh, Wes called a great game, uh, really mixed it well, some good third down calls, and um, then put points on the board, so really want to compliment Wes. And then I thought Durante and, and Sarabo were you know, it's, it's always interesting when you're going to have two separate uh, guys call plays with, uh, you know, what their one style is going to be versus the other. But I thought they played off of each other well. Um, and, and like I said, just uh, challenged the defense at halftime to not give up another point. And they didn't. You know, the offense ended up giving up two there at the end. It wasn't entirely unfair. I mean, Samoa definitely played with some inside pressure with that. For sure. Yeah, yeah no, I, you know, absolutely. And I, I think you, know, you could go through the list of guys. I mean, Gant had nine tackles. Ba had a uh, a really a really good play there. It looked pretty darn close to a safety um, on that one sack that he had, and then we you know finished it with another interception there late. So um, it, you know they're not going to get a lot of credit statistically, but I also thought our D line. Uh, I mentioned the O line. I thought our D line uh, there was knockback. There was a, a lot of physicality up there. Uh, a lot of different young guys that were really excited about uh, you know in a really competitive situation in that room. Yeah. 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 I mean, to me, Andre is um, continues to get better. Um, he's he's a guy that you, you felt him off the edge quite a bit. I'm sure you guys did as well. Um, that that outside. I think Coach Penton's doing a really good job with that outside backer group as a whole. And I think you know guys like Bernard and Van Ginkle, um, Hottie played. You know, got off to a good start today alongside with DT. Um, when I look at that group, I mean, how, that's, that's as, I'd like to see a deeper room in football as far as the edge outside backer position uh, goes. But I think Pets doing a great job. I love the scheme with the way it flows, mixing looks and allowing those guys to do some different jobs. But we're going forward a lot at that position. Those guys are impacting the game. Thoughts on Jerry and just him starting this week and, and going back to poor Matthew, how he played. And, uh, yeah, I know. I, you know, I've, I've, uh, I've been that guy before. <laughs> been that guy before so I wanted to make sure we got Matt out there um, you know unfortunately kind of a little mix up there on that on that last keeper on third and long uh, those things are going to happen we'll get Matt ready to go and uh, Jaron I thought was you know really good um, for the most part rhythm timing uh, ball coming out uh, accurate and then uh, that throw to, to Jay Sean you know that's a that's a ball on a keeper that, you know, once or twice a season that ball might get thrown there. So Jared to have the awareness, eyes up, attacking with the ball up, showing his athletic ability, 
and then throwing a, a dime right over the top there. It was really cool. Kevin, does he start next week? Uh, we're, we'll work through it, but yeah, whether whether we end up you know having Nick take some snaps or not next week, uh, but we'll, I'd love to see you know I'd love to have extended opportunities for a lot of these guys to continue to build on the performances they've had. But we'll we'll keep you guys posted about the plan kind of for next week when it gets a little closer. Kevin, as tough as that news was on JJ as unsettling as that can be for a team, can yeah. it also have kind of a galvanizing effect within the room and, and across the team? Yeah, I think I think guys are pretty confident in Sam Darnold. I do, and, and you know when Nick Mullins got his opportunities last year, uh, we were very explosive as an offense. So uh, his ability to run the show and really you know highlight a lot of different aspects of our offense with his understanding is is, is something that's why Nick's here. Um, he's a guy we really respect and, and respect his prep and his experience. Uh, but I think you know nobody. Uh, nobody's more bummed out about JJ's situation than JJ himself just because he loves being with his teammates and uh, we're going to get him back with the group as fast as possible. It's great to get home and, and, and see him post, you know, post op. I'm sure he'll be uh, at the facility day and night already uh, in meetings and everything. It's, it's, we're going to really try to craft a plan for JJ that allows him to uh, not miss a beat from a mental preparation and a standpoint of going through game plans throughout the season and really starting to envision what that looks like for him. Um, as he kind of watches Sam go about it in year one of the system as well. Did you, did you come out of the We did. Yeah, we did. There, there was really nothing, uh, nothing to make note of. We had a couple guys uh, that maybe would have played uh, if it was a regular season, but uh, just through the physicality of the joint practices, which I did like, um, uh, we <laughs> decided to hold those guys out and uh, just be smart. I mean, between the guys that were a little nicked up and then I think 21 or so, um, healthy guys, we did sit. Um, that speaks to the depth, and, and Quasi and I, we wanted to win some preseason football games this year, and, and I think the depth that Quasi's put together on this roster, um, the fact that we're 2-0 and, and have seen a lot of guys play, um, in some cases against you know maybe higher levels of the depth chart on some other teams, it's been really cool to see those guys go out there and compete. Thank you. Thank you, guys.